When the bandits abducted the American citizens, they carried out a precision style operation. According to Kaber Adamo, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Security analyst Kaba Adamo has called the attention to the lack of a tactical element in the Nigerian military security forces. He highlighted the significance of accuracy and intelligence in such attempts, citing a successful operation involving the rescue of American nationals kidnapped by bandits. He emphasized the necessity of doing thorough intelligence collection in order to locate bandit guns. He called on the National Assembly to play its share in keeping the Security Department responsible. Expressing alarm about the possibility that these episodes will continue in the absence of strategic intervention. In particular, he urged the National Assembly to examine security expenditures and guarantee openness in the distribution of cash for tracking devices. He said in an interview with TVC, the missing link is a tactical component within our security forces. When the bandits abducted the American citizens between Niger and Nigeria, they carried out a precision-style operation and they were able to rescue the individuals. With good intelligence, you'll be able to know where these bandit groups are. You'll be able to carry out a multifaceted text of collateral damage. I want to butcher the fact that if we do not do this, the incentive for this to continue will go on. I will principally call on the National Assembly. It will be very important that really that they really do what we Nigerians voted them to do. They need to hold the Security Department to account. Whatever budgets are presented and money is provided for the acquisition of tracking devices. And yet, everybody will agree with me that we are not seeing the purposes of which this money are being provided. The legislation needs to wake up and start its oversight function. Are we supposed to be even waking the legislature, the legislative body up? That judiciary. She was supposed to come as I can't wake them up. Are they even supposed to be sleeping? <laughs> Imagine Supreme Court in Nigeria. Those that do not have cameras, then how okay. How them go you stop bandits and kidnap you when the elders are full corruption? If you ask me, my dear, who I go ask? Please call the Americans to help us, please. It is becoming difficult for the Nigerian government to overcome banditry, kidnapping, and terrorism. Nigeria Tunumbu should seek the assistance of the USA to get rid of this miscreant in our country. There is no scheme in that, in that to please Jagaban. Those tactical and precision style operations can only be done with unmanned aerial vehicles. Nigerians do not have it. So forget this kind of development until a century to this time. Those ones are national bandits with the ransom paid by taxpayers' money. If you're able to put all the money budgeted for security for the past 10 years to now, you realize that how much this benefit, how much these bandits call government have spent on security. Asari the Kuba introduced, we grew up kidnapping and banditry in Nigeria. Today we see where we are we are in terrorism, banditry and kidnapping. Today Asari is being glorified and is a friend to the president. I kid you not. Jukes apart. Asari Dokubo introduced and grew kidnapping and banditry in Nigeria. Today, see where we are. Okay, I think I've said that before. The body language means that they are helpless. So, the Tucano aircraft has turned to items in the Vision Museum. They better sell it as fairly used or iron condemned. The thing is, if you see the money these people spend on insecurity, if you see it, you will weep for this country. It's like you don't know your country. Kidnapping is another way of wicked APC making income. I've said it that this insecurity that we're always calling upon. It is what I call, it is, um, what do they call it now? It's like you don't know your country. Kidnapping is another way. Yes, it is like a cow. Insecurity is like a cow that they are actually fattening. And why they are fattening that cow or rearing it is so that it's going to give them milk. That is all. 
Are we saying that Nigerian security agencies do not even have tracking devices or they intentionally abdicated the responsibility for more money to be voted for them? If the answer is yes, then what have they been working with all this while? And what have they been buying in the annual budget? In a country where the government and government officials do not allow operations and offerment of instrument of security detention and its execution to function, this will always be the end result, especially when business, religion, and politics are the main motives behind such insecurity. Okay, such security situation. My concern is the killing of innocent citizens and our combated security personnel by these criminals. I kid you not. The National Assembly seemingly are more interested in their own contract and cut from the security budget or finding a lasting solution. After all, how many senators have you seen or heard being kidnapped? All right, are Americans ready to assist in making Africans to be saved? Who has this question? Who arms and sponsored those heartless militants in third world? Are you really serious? Let us stop deceiving ourselves. Some group of people in Africa feel that they are still in the 15th century. What you conquer and rule over people? That is what is happening in most African countries. Nigeria, for instance, some strangers occupy people's forests and start developing there and even expanding to the existing community by killing and taking over people's land. I feel some powerful people in government are behind them. If not, the security agencies will remove them. Okay. Nigeria is not America. There are still Chibo girls held in captivity. I did tell you. You remember Lia Shaibu now? She's still there. She's still there, dear. How many years later? Okay. Nigerian army have not got the equipment for securing operations. Let the government give army funds like they give to the National Assembly. Did they tell you don't give army funds? Did they tell you? All right. You, our guys are untrained. At this, we need special force to the job and not the regular army. All those ones are thinking is how to harass civilians, drink pepper soup, and build a house in the village. What we, where we have effective leadership in Nigeria, your agency, your, your agency, okay, where we have effective leadership in Nigeria, the security organs will sit up. I've always posted the fact that Nigeria has leadership deficit. When your brother Buhari was there, why didn't you come with this your, this your analyst, hypocrites everywhere? Well. The vision I'm brother now, and it was going to do right to him by them. All right. Jonathan Political has brought her haram <laughs> haramism. If you like, allow it to be er eradicated. If you don't want, it's your headache. All right. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time.